What's up everyone, Justin here, Forbes, Heaver, and Wallace. I am coming to you from a job site today for another episode of Behind the Lines. I got some good information as it relates to uh, self-contained and remote refrigeration. I was just doing a demo for a customer with some grab-and-go upright cases where a customer can reach in and grab a prepackaged sandwich or a bottle of water, something like that. And the refrigeration on these units was self-contained and that means it's part of the refrigerator, part of the box itself. The other option is to have it remote where the refrigeration portion is far away around the corner, uh, down the hallway, something, a different location, and they run all the proper uh, wiring and, and everything to that uh, actual upright unit. But the reason I thought this was important is at this location, these units were on the second floor uh, of a customer's building. So because of that and because of the type of flooring that they had, they were not able to put drains wherever they wanted to. So they had to do a self-contained unit instead of a remote unit where they could allow some drainage and some runoff. So I thought that was something that was a very interesting tidbit that flooring can play a special factor in uh, what type of refrigeration that you have. Also the difference between self-contained and remote. Typically self-contained is going to be a little noisier. So if you have a larger space, that noise can dissipate pretty easily. But if you have a confined space, you might want to look at something remote. It'll be a little bit quieter. So just a couple of quick tips behind the line on a customer. And I just got out of there. I had my safety hat on. I had my glasses on. Looked very safe and very official. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Thanks.